33 billion euros. The annual cost of brain trauma just in Europe because the brain fails to repair itself. But I think we can fix it with some very basic tools. Injured brain tissue heats up and heat kills brain cells. Cooling is the single most effective brain protecting agent known. If cooling is so hot, why not use it for brain trauma? Trouble is, we shiver, and shivering generates heat. But what if we could trick the brain into thinking it's cold? For that, we need to know what cooling does to human brain cells. Life proceeds in one direction, but stem cell technology can bend the rules. Now we can put human skin cells, mature ones, in a dish and reprogram them back into the master cells they came from. The master holds blueprints for every cell type. We just tell it what to make. So I grow cells of the human cortex, the brain region most vulnerable to trauma. Here is a model system I can cool down, stress out, and rescue. As temperature falls, cell machinery slows down. But for cold shock proteins, this is where the party starts. The cell core lights up as these thrill seekers dance about, keeping vital processes ticking over whilst their neighbours sleep in suspended animation. Essential to life, these proteins exist in the most primitive species. And if I call the model, they switch on. Now, the brain guzzles more than its fair share of energy. To survive winter, hibernators place it on standby. As it gets colder, connections between their brain cells part company, then reassemble in spring. This rejuvenated brain is ready to go. You never see a squirrel with a hangover. What's remarkable is that we don't know what this, how this rhythmical restructuring really occurs. It's a mystery. What we know is that cooling changes cells and proteins in a way that protects the brain. I see this in the dish. Like reprogramming, cooling winds back the clock on key structural proteins, making them fetal-like. The best bit about this is that it sort of gives them a molecular makeover so that it almost flexes the cell scaffold and primes it for repair. Transformed proteins also trigger a chemical cascade that adapts the cell to stress. In just 24 hours, cooling prepares brain cells for battle and they become resistant to injury. So cooling the brain is like taking it to the gym. Thank you. <laughs>